Hey, it's Sean from P2R. It's been quite a time since I did a video on the ILX. We've still been working on the car, making a lot of progress. Uh, the car is actually a little bit further away from being finished as we were at the last video, but at the same time, it's because we've been trying to progressively move forward on the car, if that makes any sense. Um, the other day, those of you following our social media, you saw we had um, graph transmissions or graph gearboxes. Mariette was here. They are actually building us a four-speed dog engagement set for this transmission. We also got PJ's uh, Customs. He's here um, building a brand new wire harness for the car. Hey guys, my name is PJ Walters of PJ's Customs, and uh, which is focused on engine wiring specialties. That's the services that I provide with a focus primarily on Honda J-Series engines. The last harness was great, but there was a lot of things that we didn't account for. And um, as we're getting closer to getting this setup ready to go, we're realizing things that we wanted to add to the harness or be different. You know, I had some plans in the beginning, for example, to go uh, J to K, but we decided to stay true to the J series and running the whole thing J. So we're gonna have the J transmission, and we're actually further in development of the J while we're at it too, you know. We got the custom gear sets now through Graph. We became a Graph dealer, and we're gonna be able to sell you guys dog engagement sets to be able to drag race with the J-Series transmission, or even road race if that's what you're doing. Um, you know, just a lot going on with it. It's, gonna, it's coming out really good. PJ's doing an awesome job with the new harness. It's looking amazing, you know. But yeah, I'll show you guys what's going on, just the progress. You know, the goal is definitely still to try to hit World Cup this year. You know, there's just so many changes um, that we're doing all at the same time. But, yeah. It's going to be good, man. We're excited. Can't wait to see it actually dyno. You know, I was hoping to have dyno it already by now, but like I said, we've done a lot of changes and a lot of things changing up. So we'll be there again soon. Where are you from? I'm from Mississippi, a little town named, you know, called Liberty. That's about uh, in the middle of nowhere as you can get with two traffic lights in the town. Well, I came down here for... Uh, P2R's uh, project car that they've got here, the Acura ILX with a J-Swap. Um, had done a harness on it a little bit before, but there were some other things that uh, Sean had kind of wanted to add to the car and uh, maybe some, maybe kind of reroute some things a little bit. So kind of half-jokingly said, uh, I just need to come down there and do it. And then Sean said, well, now we're talking. And then that's kind of how we ended up uh, working down here together on this thing. Oh yeah, it's great working down here with these guys. They're uh, uh, one. Uh, let's see, they're absolutely unique. Um, I don't know if uh, if I had an engine that needed rebuilding or building, I don't think I'd look to anybody else. But aside from that, you know, aside from the services that they provide and the products that, that they provide in those areas, um, they're just really great all-around guys. Um, just. I'd say, uh, <laughs> say bordering on the outstanding. No, I'm kidding. They are outstanding. Okay, so uh, what are some distinguishing marks about uh, the harnesses that I build? Um, I, I use 100% uh, new components. Um, I use all new OEM components wherever possible. I use the best tools that uh, I've been able to find um, and like I say the wiring uh, there's different grades of wiring a lot of people just think you know wire is wire but it's not there are different grades of it which is why I stick strictly to Tefzel wire uh, the the goal with building a quality motorsport harness is you want to build it in such a way that it will hopefully outlast the vehicle that it's being put in but uh, I've had uh, experience with lots of different types of wire, and I have to say that that particular kind is second to none. But uh, yeah, um, I ha offer a few different sleevings um, for it as well, as far as to protect the harness. But uh, as far as construction of the harness, um, like I say, use the best quality tools that I've been able to find, and uh, with a uh, focus on repeatability. Uh, in uh, performing you know crimps and things like that um, so that hopefully whenever the harness is constructed it will be of superb quality and hopefully second to none but yeah I'll tell you I never expected something like this to blow up in my face like it did uh, <laughs> you know just 
started through some of the Facebook groups. One guy was persistent on getting me to build his harness, and uh, I reluctantly did it. And then he puts a video of there of it on there, uh, starting up. And then my inbox has started filling up. And uh, yeah, so um, hopefully uh, I can continue in that regard to uh, continue to turn out products that uh, give all you guys you know satisfaction. So. Yeah, well, I'm glad you I'm glad you made the trip down. Um, you know, it was awesome having you here. The ILX harness is looking amazing. Um, I can't wait to get that car out on track. I mean, that car is going to be um, hopefully, you know, record setting car for us. You know, in the all motor class. Yeah. And uh, yeah, again, appreciate you coming out. And soon we're going to have some fun with it. Oh yeah, I I really have enjoyed myself down here, and I appreciate the opportunity and the uh, kindness that y'all have shown me. Awesome, man. For those of you who haven't heard of PJ's Customs, PJ's Customs basically specializes in a lot of J-Series wire harnesses. We sell a lot of his products on our website. I mean, we got everything in stock, um, on the shelf, ready to go from uh, pretty much J-Swap complete wire harnesses for putting a uh, cable-driven throttle body in a Civic. We, we got universal harnesses as well, too. That can pretty much be used in anything, whether it's a sand rail, a buggy, or anything like that. You can get them to work with a stock ECU or AEM um, ECU. We're also starting to get a lot of his harnesses to work with the drive-by wire engines as well, too. So, you know, check out the website. We got a lot of PJ's custom stuff there. We keep a lot of it in stock. Uh, as you see, he came here and did the harness custom for us, um, which is awesome. And um, here we got PJ hard at work, finishing the final steps of the harness. Yeah, got a uh, got to track down a couple parts and. Um, it's gonna be gonna be great. I'm glad that I was able to come down and uh, work with these guys down here. It's uh, it's been a really uh, been a real blessing, um, and hopefully we can uh, hurry up and get this thing wrapped up. Right.